in terms of helping someone identify their expertise, what does that look like? What does that process involve? Identifying and defining your area of expertise is the most crucial part in demonstrating extraordinary ability that warrants an EB1A green card. We have a proprietary DISC WE matrix that offers a very, very scientifically structured process to help articulate one's expertise clearly. Remember one thing, I think, Megan, we have seen that if people choose wrong expertise, they are likely to select the wrong criteria that will take them years behind. You know, we work with all students together to evaluate progressive experience, which is very different than a regular experience. Progressive experience will essentially mean that, okay, if somebody says that I have a 10 years experience, remember that in 10 years, a kindergarten kid has entered into a high school. Now, what have you done? Is it just one year of experience multiplied 10 times or is it just some kind of an organic growth that has happened during this period for you? And we have to measure the progressive experience with reference to what we call as data, information, skills, knowledge and wisdom and enlightenment. So essentially, we have to see that what is it that has made a person, even when he says that he is an expert, how did that expertise evolve? And by assessing where one would fall into this learning continuum, we can accurately help people to quantify the impact factor of their work and demonstrate, if I may say, mastery of the subject matter. Now, combining this with the analysis of all the contributions across the five pillars of expertise that we have in our program, in terms of various other aspects which are outlined here, we will guide and pinpoint the niche that best, you know, kind of describes talent. And it could also mean combining or intersecting domains. For example, we had one particular candidate, he was working with DoorDash in terms of defining his expertise by saying that, oh, he's a logistics software engineer. We said, oh, the better word is the geospatial engineer. So, you know, these are some of the things that really help. And uh, with expertise precisely being defined, there is a proper evaluation. People normally I have seen taking anywhere from 15 to even 40 days. For me personally, it took six months. For someone, a software engineer, we recently got EB1A. The person took almost two months. But it is worth the process because if you identify it correctly, then it serves well the purpose for the purpose of EB1A. Otherwise, it's like just beating around the bush. 